Morning everybody, uh, I'm up at Caravan, uh, we're going away in a couple of weeks so I've got a couple of jobs to do. First job I'm going to be doing is changing the 13 pin socket. The last time we went away we went up to Blackpool, uh, everything was okay when we got there, uh, we managed to use the plug no problem. But on the way back we've plugged the 13 pin socket into the car, I've gone to turn it and it's come apart. The retaining clips have just worn away whether that's because it's been sat in the sun on the a-frame i don't know but obviously it just needs changing so i've, I've uh, been up to where i got the caravan from they didn't have any in but i've just quickly ordered one and got that delivered next day so that's the job that i'm going to be doing so i'm just going to show you how i'm going to do that the plug comes with a wiring diagram uh, if you look at if you look at the wiring diagram the pins one to seven are normally the same on every caravan um, but uh, the pins up from there seven to 13 can be slightly different colors so the plan what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the old plug apart and as I'm taking apart I'm going to write down the colors and what number they're in and then I can just transfer them over to the new plug the equipment that I'm going to need for this is obviously the plug I'm going to use a small flat-ended screwdriver for the old plug and for the new plug it's a Phillips head screwdriver. Um, other things that I need because it's a really warm day is Factor 15 sun cream, that's all. What I'm going to do first is take this section off, put that to one side and then the plug just comes apart. I'm going to take this retaining piece off here just so I can get to the wires and I can label all the numbers. But as you can see with this one, it is quite rusty. Um, there's rust on this retaining clip here and on the pins of the self, there is quite a bit of rust and muck, so I just need to uh, clean that up as well. So I'm gonna take that off and then move the wires around and then I can see what, what's going on. So what I'm gonna do is take them off one by one and see what numbers they are and write the colours down. So what I've done is I've held the two plugs together and I've matched the numbers up. Uh, the one, two, seven are the same colour but the eight upwards uh, are slightly different colours. So all I've done is just matched them up. If you can see there a close up on the plug I've just matched them up so I know uh, where everything's going. Number 12 is not used so that pin's not in use and what I've done once I've matched them all up is I've just wrote them down in a list and then I can follow it because I'm going to have to take all the cables out first. So there's my list that I can follow and I know where everything goes. So what we've got to do is we need to take this piece off because I've got a new fitting to put on here but I've got to take all the cables off in order to put that on. So for this old plug, it is a uh, just a normal screwdriver. So I'm just going to go around and undo them. There we go. So that's them all out now. They're all out. That's the old casing. As you can see, it's, as I said, it's quite rusty. This piece needs to come off. Uh, really importantly, before we uh, wire it up we need to put this piece on uh, don't want to start wiring it up and then realize we've not put the retaining piece back on so this needs to go on first so with this this locking nut goes or this lock nut goes on first so I'll put that in there then this piece goes on which is sort of like a waterproof protective but I've got to get all the cables through there which is going to be quite tricky That's another section over and then this rubber grommet then fits over. Just try and get all the cables as narrow as I can possibly get them then I can get them through the hole. So I've managed to get this rubber piece over here over the cable which is quite tricky. You just need to slide that down quite a fair way. Ideally with this you could probably put some um, washing up liquid on there just to help it slide along. At the moment I haven't got any. 
Well, I have probably somewhere in the caravan. Wait. There we go. So we need to put this piece over the top here. And then start wiring up. We're going to start wiring up from the middle. So we're going to do pins one, two, and then four, and then start working around the outside. So we just need to separate the cables. So the first pin we want is yellow. So with this one, it's a uh, Phillips screwdriver for this one. So we're going to do yellow, which is one and then work our way around so we need uh, number two which is blue <sighs> okay so that's the plug all wired up now i just need to fit the other section to it and then we're going to test it um, everything's secure everything looks okay so this just drops into here and there is a groove there that it slots into so that'll just slot into there like that then I just need to screw this on. Don't want to over tighten it because I don't want to cross thread it and that's got free movement for the plug. So that's it all wired up and then I need to push this rubber grommet forward which gives it some sort of water protection, some insulation. It's quite stiff as I said which is good. I could do with some washing up, look at it on there really, but I haven't got any. That fits up into there. Let's make sure that's tight. It is really, really warm today. God, I'm warm. It's about 27, 28 degrees, man. Okay, so I've managed to get it on. It's quite a tight fit, which is a really good thing. Uh, hopefully no water is going to get in there. I'm just going to tighten that up. I don't want to over tighten it. The next thing to do is to back the car up, plug it in and test all the lights. Plugged it in and from that beeping noise I know that the indicators are working so I'm just going to go and check everything. I've just backed the car up to it, plugged it in. Let's have a look around it. Front lights are on. lights are working looking great that's another job done 13 pin socket changed I will put the wiring diagram that I used it was slight the colors were slightly different from 8 to 13 to what was actually listed on the plug that came uh, that must be the, the the Bailey wiring diagram but I'll put um, it's just scribbled writing I'll put that on the video we finished work in a couple of weeks we'd both work in schools me and my wife so we've got six weeks off and we are actually away for possibly I think five weeks of that so uh, hopefully I'll be uploading while we're away so thanks for all the support all the follows on Twitter all the likes all the comments keep them coming all the subscriptions I think I'm around about 360 odd subscriptions now which I think is really good I really do appreciate the support thank you very much for watching please hit like and subscribe up here and I will see you very soon bye bye